Alright, so for this effect, you're gonna need three different clips that were filmed on the same tripod, the same area. Basically, this first clip I have here is just like a portrait shot, and then we switched over to a shot where he's on the tree over here, and then the last shot was just in the middle, kind of just vibing out to the music. So, whatever you're doing with this effect, you just want to sync it up. The next thing you're gonna want to do is basically chop up the footage as if you were making the transition like how you want to. So, say I want to maybe start off with this first clip here if I'm uh, performing then I want to cut to uh, this shot here and then say maybe at the end here I want to go back to the original clip the next thing you're gonna need is some footage of the artist walking towards the next location so as you can see we have Metro kind of just getting set up here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this footage and speed it up to something really fast like 7000, make it super short and this is going to act as the transition between the two clips. So we're going to put this right here, like right in between that cut. And as you can see, we have our first little transition. Now, something that I just noticed was that he kind of just walked from the side in and not from that position that he was in. So what I'm gonna do is grab these two clips here of Metro and drag those in front of those clips. And it kind of seems like he's walking towards there, but it was just cut up in a way that makes it look like it does since it's a super fast transition. And I'm just gonna group these together by nesting them just like this and I'm gonna drag the tail end of this just to make it a bit faster and put it right down in the middle now what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to add some directional blur and I'm just gonna drag that on that nested sequence I'm gonna go over to effect controls and change the direction to 23 and then just scale this up until it looks blurry enough just to give it more of that blur effect all right, so once you have that first transition done, we're going to just rinse and repeat, and then we're going to speed up the clip and add directional blur, just like we did for this first transition. And for this last clip, I didn't have any footage of Metro going up to the front. So basically, I just took that first clip, duplicated it, and reversed it, and it turned out pretty good. Sometimes you just gotta get creative with the footage that you have. Now basically from here, what we're going to do, I'm just gonna cut this adjustment layer real quick, is we're going to take all of this and we're going to nest it. And then once we have that nested sequence, we're going to go over to effect controls and we're basically going to set a keyframe for the position and scale. So we'll start here at the beginning and we'll kind of zoom in to Metro as that goes on and basically just play around with these keyframes until you feel like the camera is actually moving with the artist instead of just staying at the same scale. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and add in some sound design. So we're going to add in some whooshes to where he transitions. And then finally, again, this is totally optional, but I'm just gonna add some background noise, uh, some birds chirping since we're in a forest. And that's basically the effect. It's very easy to do, and I love that it's just strictly on Premiere, so I don't have to go over to After Effects and change anything. If you guys wanna see the full video of Chasing Stars that I directed for Metro, I'll leave a link below. Thanks for watching.